Hello, everyone. Welcome to our tonight light house. I'm today's speaker Jin Yin, and another speaker is Pei Wen. I sure you all know the to know the stress. What is the stress? Actually, stress management does not seek to eliminate stress from your life. After all, stress is a part of life. And at least some amount of stress is needed to help us remain active, alert, and motivated. Stress management is a set of techniques designed to help us manage the stress we experience more effectively. In order to prevent stress from becoming a source of distress, some people have good coping resources. For handling stress, but others rely on defensive. Therefore, this is our topic: managing stress. Are you in the effective ways to cope with your stress? Today, we can let us contrast these two different ways. As first of all, is defensive coping. Defensive coping is a actually many techniques for coping with stress are defensive. Defensive coping can reduces the immediate impact of the stressors, but at a cost. The cost includes society, society inappropriate behavior, avoidance of problems, or self deception. Defensive coping grants us the time to manage our resources, but does not deal with the source of stress or enhance the effectiveness. Of our responses to stress, therefore, in the long run, defensive methods can be harmful. Also, if we do not use the chance they provide to find better ways of coping, for example, the first is withdrawal. Withdrawal when you face a stressful situations, you feel like unable to control. Or may want to withdraw from the uh, situations. Withdrawal can be emotional, as long as, for example, in loss of interest, or physical, as in moving or changing one lifestyle. Temporary withdrawal can be helpful by providing the chance to find better methods of coping. But withdrawal. From social involvement, prevents people from getting on with their life and finding other sources of support. Second, deny. Deny may minimize the effects of stress in the short run, but the eventual consequence of leaving can be tragic. For example, Sigmund Freud said, "Deny is a type of defense mechanism that operates unconsciously." To protect us from anxiety that might stem from recognitions of unacceptable ideas and impulse, according to the psychodynamics theories, actually everyone uses defense mechanisms at least some degrees. Also, however, defenses adjustments can be problems in when people begin to rely on them to cope with stress. Or maybe they lead people to forego seeking necessary medical treatments or making desirable life change. So the third one, substance use. Actually, this is a common but also ineffective means of handling stressful situations. This is a use of alcohol or other drugs. The use of psychoactive substances may blur awareness of socials. Of stress, but fails to resolve the problems. Moreover, drinking regularly or using other drugs to cope with stress can lead to a drug dependence, which only compounds the problems to the person is facing. And then the lastly, aggressions. Actually, some people lose their tempers when they feel stressed and become verbally or physically abusive to the others. Violence is often used to cope with social provocations and sometimes a response to frustrations. Also, 
but slashing out at others verbally or physically is a source of stress in itself can damage relationship also and can have serious consequence therefore physical violence is not only illegal but very dangerous aggressive behaviors also heightens independent interpersonal conflicts also okay so now we already know that some ways of handling stress can make matters much worse so um so now let us consider healthier ways of managing stress which is direct or active coping methods for managing stress sometimes um stressor cannot be eliminated or modified active coping then involves um rational evaluation of our capacities to manage them as best as we can below i will show some strategies for active coping with the stresses of everyday life okay the first one is keep stress at manageable levels um think about your daily life does it seem that no matter how hard you try there's still much more that needs to be done if the demands on your time keep building up you may be facing more stress than you can handle so what can you do for yourself first don't bite off more than you can chew don't take more tasks than you can reasonably accomplish and then um second reduce your daily hassles that might waste your time and put you into a stressful condition and then third develop time management skills such as use a monthly calendar to fill in your appointment and important events okay so the second reach out and be touched by someone social support buffers the effects of stress okay so um it is very important to have social support there are four types of um support okay which is um emotional emotional concern instrumental aid feedback and socializing we can we can get emotional concern by developing friendships and maintain relationship with uh, our present friends or we can meet new friends okay this is how we get the emotional concern and then we can talk to them our problems and maybe they can help us to solve it but they can be our listener or we can come to sgu we are here to be your listener okay and then the second instrumental aid um we can know about the resources in our community that assist people in times they need okay and then um some government support programs and the uh, voluntary support agency also may be there to help us so we can find out that find find out that okay the third one is feedback um having feedback from others can tell us how we are doing when we are under stress so we can what we can do is we can develop a give and take relationship with several people whose um their opinions we may trust and the last one socializing um we can invite our friends or family members to get together with me or with you on a regular basis <laughs> um perhaps organize a round enjoyable activities like playing cards going to dinner or show or going bowling okay okay next one uh, what we can do to actively cope with our stress um the third one is change stressful thoughts to stress busting thoughts 
sometimes we may get stressed because of we have some really negative and um, really um, how to say <laughs> like very um, too too rigid thoughts ah. and then we can replace our black and white thoughts with rational alternatives okay and we can allow for shades of gray okay for example um some people may think oh no what can i do i'm so helpless it's going to get worse and get worse and worse when when we think like that we may get stressed so what we can do is we can try to change our thoughts to more rational. For example, we can think that just take it easy. La. Like, although there's no obvious solution, doesn't mean that I won't be able to do anything about it. After we change our thought, we may feel um, less stressed. Okay. And then, <laughs> the fourth, <laughs> sorry. The fourth, the fourth ways um, to cope our stress more um, actively instead of uh, negative is we may um, try little, uh, try a little more humor because humor is a good medicine to cure our stress. Humor can help buffer the effects of stress. By making us laugh, humor can get our minds off uh, our troubles, at least for a time. A regular dose of humor may make stress more bearable. Um, actually, what, what um, I will do to like make more humor is just um, maybe watch some, watch some YouTube or TikTok to get some funny videos, yeah, some things like that. Okay, the next, um, the next one is do something each day that you enjoy. Stress is a more manageable when um, you can do something each day that brings you joy. For example, um, like hiking or playing badminton or uh, have a have a walk. Okay. Perhaps you would prefer to watch or participate in a sport event or maybe you would rather work, work on the car or like just um, surf the web. Okay. So, yeah, after listen the defensive coping and the active coping, actually we know that uh, no matter you choose depends or active coping ways actually at the end you can solve your problems it's just like in uh, effective ways or not or the ways that can lead another problems like for example can lead another or create another problems for you like so therefore stress is a uh, like stress is an inescapable part of your life some stress actually is beneficial for you it's keep you like alert or motivate yourself to like have a good performance. For example, you are students now, right? So too much stress, but too much stress also can overtax your ability to cope and put us at the risk of stress-related health problems. Therefore, handling stress means avoiding unnecessary stressors, maybe keeping stress at manageable level and toning down the body's reactions to stress. Stress may be a fact of life, but it's a fact we can learn to live it. So at the end, in conclusions, I would like to give a sentence to you all, which as the slide show, is not the wood that breaks you down, it's the ways you carry it. So don't worry about when you face uh, your stress la. so anything is actually you can back to our SGU unit test there's just now as Paywan said that <laughs> we have someone to to like have a platform to let you share anything that you want to share or share anything that actually you can't share to the others but 
you can share to our SGU la. So actually, I we have the confidentially. I won't like pour up your things to the others, right? Keep it in the secrets or in that room. So welcome if you need this counseling service, and then do not remember to fill in our Google forms because we have provided the scorans for you. So the links we will post to our WhatsApp group also, and then. The googling you must fill in before Sunday, right? Because we will close the googlings uh, at the night Sunday. So yeah, that's it for our today. Thank you for your listens. Good night and bye bye. Okay, thank you. Good luck on um your midterm exam. Okay, that's all. Bye.